Hey, it's Josh, and I'm here with my friend Mary, and we just finished an amazing trip in Squamish, so I'm going to show you everything we got up to right now. So we drove to Squamish from Vancouver. It's just a one-hour drive, and it's beautiful. We arrived at the Sandman Hotel where we were staying, and there was a big bottle of beer ready to go in the room. Uh, the next day, we headed off to the Canadian Internet Marketing Conference, which began with a welcome ceremony from the local First Nations people. That's pretty awesome. This is what we were doing for our first two days in Squamish, was going to this conference. It's put on by Marwick Internet Marketing, and they bring in all kinds of awesome speakers to talk about digital and internet marketing. Like I'm talking people from Google, eBay, Yahoo, Yelp, uh, lots of people who know what they're talking about so that Mary and I could learn a thing or two because we're really into that kind of stuff. And what a great place for a conference because step outside and you're basically in nature. There's food trucks there, which was quite yummy. And we spent the whole day there just sucking in as much information as we possibly could. And then that evening we went to a black tie gala. We met up with a couple other people from the conference and we had champagne and hors d'oeuvres and just a great time. We couldn't get too crazy because we had to be up again early the next day to head back to the second day of the internet marketing conference. Uh, there was lots more great learning opportunities, lots of networking, and then that evening I actually drove back to Vancouver because I was going to a press conference launch party kind of thing. I met up with my brother, my boyfriend was there too, and my brother and I both have small roles in this new movie. So we were being interviewed, uh, we got to walk the red carpet. It was kind of crazy because people were asking to take pictures with us and uh, we were treated like we were superstars. It was a little surreal and pretty freaking awesome. And then the next morning I had to drive back to Squamish again because this was our final day there. Back at the Sandman, Mary and I were meeting up with some bloggers to go do a day of touristy stuff. Um, this is Alpine North Limo that we got to ride around in, which is kind of like a van limo, which is pretty awesome. Uh, first thing we did was go for brunch at this place called Fergie's. How cute is this place? It's run by a husband and wife duo and like they're holding their kids. It's so cute. And this is the scenery right across from it and the food was delicious I mean so good and honestly the eggs came from chickens down the road like it was that kind of place so from there we headed off to see the sky air because now it was time to go do a tour of the area from the sky they have these little planes and three at a time we would get in the plane and go up into the air I'm not gonna lie Mary and I were a little terrified and excited but turns out there was no reason for the terrifying because it was such a smooth ride and what a great way to see the area I mean if you love nature this is the area for you my last video was about my trip to Las Vegas that's like the complete opposite end of the spectrum both amazing trips for very different reasons this one is very back to nature mountains forest ocean so that was a cool way to check out the area. After we came back down to Earth, we uh, hopped back in our limo van to head over to the Sea to Sky gondola to again head back up, but this time more strapped to the ground through a gondola to go to the top of a mountain where there is all kinds of awesome hiking and of course views. So we had a little tour guide there showing us all the hikes we could do if we want to come back, which I do. Uh, and he took us on just a little hike uh, while we were there this is some of the scenery you could see as you're walking around. I mean, so beautiful. I just loved walking around here. And there was this cool, kind of scary suspension bridge that we had to cross. But once we got to the other end, we were treated to a delicious lunch. So it was definitely worth the journey. So tasty. And then back in the gondola to enjoy the ride, back down to the bottom of the mountain to continue our journey. Look at these views, oh, gorgeous. So then we drove down to the Britannia Mine Museum where we got to go on a tour. Now this museum is unlike other museums because you actually hop on a little train and go underground, pretty cool. And the tour guide there showed us what it was like for people working in the mine, which I gotta tell you, I am so glad that I make videos for a living and I don't have to do that. 
And then the last thing we did was pan for gold. Uh, this was a cool little experience. You could find different little gems or fool's gold in there. Mary actually found a flake of gold and then she was addicted. I mean, we were all ready to go for dinner at this point and Mary just couldn't be dragged away because she wanted to find more gold. But eventually she did get back into our limo with us and we were pretty exhausted from the day, but one last stop to go to How Sound Brewery because we were gonna have dinner there, but first a little tour of the brewery. So we got to see um, you know, how all of their different beers are made and learn about the beer making process and smell all the hops and barley and I was ready to have a drink. So we got to eat all of this delicious fatty food, typical pub food that was so good, have some drinks and just dig in. Look at the size of these nachos. They were huge and we even got desserts. It was just a great way to end our trip. So what do you think? It was awesome! Yeah, we had such a great time in Squamish. This is a great place to come check out. I'll put links to everything that we went to in the description below. And if you're new, make sure you subscribe! See you next time!